Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, and I got a real quick video for you today. A while back, I created um, some animated 3D ornaments, and when I was doing that, I actually set up a DaVinci Resolve macro or an effect that you can use on the timeline that can take any text image video and put it onto a sphere. And once it's on the sphere, you can rotate it, animate it, and do some different effects with it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's everything that you can do within Fusion, but it lets you kind of do a little bit of that from the timeline. So I thought I'd share that, and if you're interested in using it, you can download it from my website, uh, buildjustice.com. Um, so let's take a look at some of the things that you can do with this sphere effect. Um, we're going to be some, doing some text, some images, and some different things. If you enjoy my videos, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. i got more videos coming soon. Hopefully, it takes me a little bit to get them out, but we're moving along. So let's take a look at the sphere effect and how you add it to a clip, an image, video, or text, and go through some of the options of how to customize it. Let's check out the Just Sphere plugin for DaVinci Resolve. We have a few things on the timeline. We have an image of some rocks. We have kind of a snowy background, some glowing lines, and a picture of me holding some spheres. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the Sphere plugin on each of these, and let's see what happens. After we take a look at how to use it, I'll show you how to download and install it. Let's click the Effects link. Under Toolbox, Effects, we're going to click William Justice. You see the Just Sphere plugin. Let's take it and we're going to drag it onto each of these. So we're going to drag it onto the rocks. It turns it into a sphere. Let's drag it onto the snow scene. And you'll see the video is actually playing around the sphere. Let's drag it onto the lines. We have the lines there. And finally, let's drag it onto the clip of myself holding some spheres. So let's take a look at a few of the options here. These are the lines. Um, so to to adjust the settings, you're going to want to click the Effects option. And right here, there's just a few settings for you to use. There's the position, which is going to move the sphere around in the XY position. The background center position changes the XY position of the background on the sphere itself. The size is the size of the background. So if you make it smaller than the sphere, it'll actually start repeating. And that's a little bit easier to see. Um, when we get on this one right here, we'll take the size and we'll bring it down. And you can see the pattern just repeats. And that's based on this um, edges setting. So you could set it to center where you're only going to get one of them. You could have it wrap. Um, you could have it duplicated or um, you could have it mirrored. Let's take a look at a few more of these options. You can change the angle. And this is the angle of the background on the sphere. Um, and you'll see it kind of gets twisty as it bends around the sphere a little bit. We'll reset that. Okay, um, let's close out the background. The next section is the sphere, and these are, this is going to allow us to adjust the sphere. Um, so we can rotate it in different directions. This is actually spinning the sphere. If we want it to be bigger, we can adjust the scale. Now, the subdivisions is going to be how detailed the sphere is. So you'll see right here up at the top, it, as we, if we get really big, let's move it down a bit. Let's rotate it through here. You see the lines are not really smooth. So to fix that, all you need to do is bump up these subdivisions. So the higher the subdivisions, the smoother the lines will be on the sphere. See, when we bring them all the way down, we lose the resolution. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And we'll bump up the subdivisions like that. And we're going to reset the rotation here. Okay, the angle lets, lets you set how much of the sphere is being viewed. So you'll see if we, we can move the angle down and we rotate around, we're only seeing part of the sphere. Um, now, right now we have the cull faces. The back is turned off, so we can't see behind the sphere. But if we uncheck that and we spin this around, we're going to be able to see the inside of the sphere. This is the back of the sphere on the inside. And it works the same way for the long latitude. This sets the height of the sphere. As we adjust this, we're going to slide this the we got the bottom of the sphere we're going to go up and that's going to be at the top of the sphere where the background is you can actually do some interesting effects with this um, let's put this right in the center like this and we're going to rotate it just a bit we can take the background position and rotate it around and you kind of have a, a, a spinning open sphere there and we can rotate it this way too you can kind of do lots of things with this and if we just angle the background, we get a kind of a twisty effect. All right, um, let's go ahead and we'll make the, we'll kind of bring this back up so it's full size, the angle. Okay, the last section down here is the lighting. You see we have the spotlight. This is the specular intensity. This is where the light is reflecting off the sphere. So we can bring that down if you don't want that to be so bright. You can also adjust the exponent. 
And then we can position where the light is. Um, you can adjust the X, Y, and Z to change the spotlight position. You see, if we, as we move the light more toward the bottom, the top gets a little bit darker. And the very last thing is the ambient, the ambient light intensity. So we can bring that up if you want, don't want as many shadows. So this works really for any image. You just kind of drag it on there. So we can kind of move it around and adjust it. Okay, let's set up a real quick animation. Um, we have the sphere with the lines on it. Let's go to the first frame on that. You notice as we adjust the center X and center Y, the background is shifting along the surface of the sphere, kind of creating an animated effect. So let's um, go to the first frame of that. We're gonna set a keyframe. We'll go toward the end of the, of the clip and let's adjust the center X position. And this is gonna kind of create a spinning sphere. Let's go make it go a little bit faster than that. So we'll just keep adjusting this. So in this case, the sphere is not actually turning, but the background is shifting along the sphere. And let's also adjust the Y position. So it's gonna be shifting along the X and Y axis at the same time. Okay, let's put some text on top of that. Go to the titles area in effects. We're gonna take text, Let's take the text plus and drop it right on top and let's set up some text. Okay, so we have the text sitting on top of the sphere. Now the text is not actually in the sphere. So what we need to do is add the sphere effect to the text. So find the effect in the William Justice folder and we're gonna drag that right onto the text plus. And you can see that we kind of have it started there. Now what we need to do is adjust the position here. We're gonna to need to change the uh, the center X and Y to put it right on top. I think the other one was right in the center, yeah. So, okay, so you'll take a look. You'll notice that um, the text is not quite fitting on the sphere, and that's because the, they're di the spheres are different sizes. So let's take a look at the bottom sphere, and we have the scale is one and the radius is 0.58. So what we need to do is go to the text plus sphere, and we're gonna set the scale to one and the radius at 0.58. So now that they match up, and the X and Y positions are the, are the same, the text will be right on top. So let's uh, adjust the center X of the text. You'll see that it, the text is spinning around the sphere. We can adjust the scale. And to animate it, we could adjust the background position just like we did with the other one. And you have the kind of the text rotating around the sphere. Let's make it stand out a little bit better. Um, go to video and let's make it a bright yellow. A bright, yeah, let's make it a bright yellow. And add a drop shadow. So that's just kind of a few of the things you can do. To download the Sphere plugin, you can go to my website, billjustice.com. There's a link on the homepage to download the DRFX. You open that, you double click on it. That will, that will install the Sphere effect into DaVinci Resolve. Um, if you don't see it on here, you can click Download Effects and go to my effects page. This has uh, all the effects that I've created. Um, and you can find the Just Sphere and download the DRFX from there. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content and comment below and let me know how I'm doing. I really like to hear from you. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.